everybody. So tonight uh, we are going to cook a wedge salad uh, with steak. You can also do it with chicken. Uh, this dish is common at um, the keg actually. Uh, so uh, wedge salad with steak, home edition. So you will need Uh, this is a strip steak. So that's what the package said, sirloin strip steak. Um, and this is this will be for two people. Um, however much steak you want per person for this recipe. Um, but this cut in half is probably more than enough um, for two people. Sprinkles or small cherry tomatoes um, will work good. So there you go. These little packages are called sprinkles. They're a great option. They're nice and cheap. Um, and they work, the leftover ones work great as a, a snack as well um, with lunch. So sprinkles, little tomatoes, uh, teeny tiny tomatoes is what they're called. Now, depending on how you want to cook your steak, you're going to need cooking spray. Um, I'm doing our steak on a, um, I don't know, see it over here, but um, you can't see it over there, but uh, on a uh, plug-in grill. Seasoning for the steak. So, um, I'm going to do ours with just some steak spice here, firehouse uh, steak spice. It's just a grinder of steak spice. Um, but there's also a great product from the company Epicure that you've heard me mention a couple of times. And this is teriyaki. So you can make it as a sauce or you can make it as a dry glaze. Um, both work quite well. Okay, the only thing is to make it as a sauce you need the Epicure red pepper jelly, or really, I guess, any red pepper jelly, um, which can be a little bit hard to find. Um, so, but the, this as a dry glaze works well um, as well. So there you go, uh, Epicure teriyaki. Um, and if you need or decide that you wanna try some of these Epicure products, you can just leave a comment and I can definitely put you in touch with um, somebody that sells um, Epicure. There's always, um, samples available um, of Epicure's products as well, so you can try them before uh, you buy, but the teriyaki is really good. Okay, um, so again, this is just a steak spice grinder. It's from the grocery store. It's not an Epicure product or anything special. Okay. You can also do the steak on the barbecue if you want. Um, you've heard me talk about Epicure's garlic before, so I'm probably going to use some garlic powder um, on the steak as well. Our side vegetable um, for this dish is going to be cauliflower. So just steamed cauliflower or cauliflower. Cauliflower, cauliflower, whichever way you want to say it. Steamed is how we're going to do that. Now, to make the salad part, bring this over here oh, very 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 careful um red pepper okay but i've only used just a little piece of it um green onion but i only use i didn't use this end of it i only used the um the green onion end i don't know what you call it but the, not the actual oniony end there um and then uh, it's not an exact science, but what is that? Like an inch and a half to two inches piece of cucumber. <laughs> Whoopsies. Cut in half. And then half again. And then chopped up. So not a whole lot of these uh, three. Then, um, I don't know, it's really hard to tell. This was one head of iceberg lettuce that I cut in half. And then, so that's what the half looks like. And then I cut that in half again. Um, so you end up with 
quarters. And each person, it's gonna sound like a lot, but each person will get one quarter um, for their wedge salad. And that's why it's called a wedge salad because you're gonna get a wedge of iceberg lettuce as your salad. So I've pre-cut the cucumber, the red pepper, the green onions, and the tomato in here. Um, and it's mixed together and there's no sauce on it. Nothing on it, just plain. Um, and we're gonna set that aside until we're ready to make the um, salad part then. Lastly, you are going to need um, this is blue cheese dressing. You can also do ranch, um, but a creamy dressing works best with this. Um, so when we order it at the keg, we like to get um, the blue cheese and then blue cheese crumbles on the side. Um, but if you're not that into blue cheese, ranch works great too. Um, and you can make your own if you want, um, but this is just um, for convenience, this is the store bought brand. Um, with blue cheese dressing, I tend to buy um, the better quality stuff. Um, not to knock any of the other brands or anything like that, but Renee's is a pretty good brand. All right. Um, so, the first thing we're gonna do uh, is prep our steak to get that uh, all ready. Um, so I am gonna prep the steak and then I'll be right back to show you what that looks like. Okay, and we're back. Um, so this is what I'm going to cook the steak on. Um, you can definitely do the steak in a frying pan. Um, you can do it in the oven, you can do it on your barbecue outside, whatever is easiest um, for you in whatever way you prefer to cook your steak, okay? So there's no special way to do, to, um, to do the steak for this. So we're just gonna season each side of the steak with the grinder generously. So one of the things I like to do with my steak, believe it or not, is make sometimes a glaze um, or a sauce for it ahead of time, and then um, put the sauce in a Ziploc bag with the steak and freeze it, and then um, when I wanna use the steak, I pull it out, and you get a really great marinated juicy steak that way. And just remember you're cooking the steak to your um, preference. Um, I'll cut the steak at the end, um, but you can definitely cut it into chunks first. to start with that okay so um, the steak is still cooking I have put the cauliflower um, aside and gotten it ready to steam you can do it in a steamer a pot um, however you would normally steam um, your vegetables um, so funny story um, uh, about tonight's cooking video in preparation for the cooking video earlier today I took out what I thought <laughs> Um, was actually a pre-marinated teriyaki um, date. So right before we were gonna um, start the video, I took the steak out, uh, what I thought was the steak, I put it on the grill. It's not steak actually. It was in fact um, ribs. 
Um, so those are in the oven um, cooking away. Um, so there you go. Uh, these things happen. So in order to do tonight's cooking show, before we started, I had to run to the grocery store and buy a steak, come back, and then here we are. Um, and so these cooking videos don't always work out the way that I plan at the beginning. Um, so like I said, with this, you can also do chicken um, rather than steak. Um, I, I suppose you could do to tofu um, if you wanted to do the dish vegetarian and just prepare the tofu whatever way you um, would normally prepare it as a protein. Um, so there's that option um, as well. And then there's definitely vegan options for the salad uh, dressings um, as well. Um, so let's flip our steak over. So normally um, I would cook the steak outside, right, on the barbecue. Um, but given that we're mid-December, if you can believe it, um, this is a better option. Um, all right. Okay. All right. So for your wedge salad, um, you are going to uh, need a plate for a plate per person, um, essentially. So in my case, I'm making this um, for two. Um, so for myself and um, my husband. Uh, this is not one of those recipes that is going to stretch a long way for a family, um, but it's it's a great date night dinner, um, and it's it's super easy for um, for anybody to do. Um, so yeah, so let me grab a couple plates and we'll start plating up the uh, we'll start plating up the wedge salad. Hi. Okay. So we're back. Um, you may have noticed in the background there, right here, um, move the fish tank back to the corner there. That's M&M in there. Um, so yeah, M&M, our Siamese fighting fish, is going to be joining um, the cooking videos because um, apparently that's a better place for him to live. Uh, okay, so the steak is still cooking away. Um, I have put the uh, a wedge if you will, on each plate. We're just gonna grab a spoon. Mix up your uh, mixture of cucumbers, onions, uh, red onion, and what else did we put in here? Oh, tomatoes, that's what it was. Okay, okay. all right. It actually looks super Christmassy with all the red and green. Um, okay, so you're just gonna take a uh, spoon full and just drop it over the top. It's gonna look a little bit messy, but whatever. That's fine. No, you can see very well how I'm doing this here. My uh, my mom provided a review of one of uh, the cooking videos, and she said, you need an island, or you need to have something in front of you um, to put your cooking ingredients on when you're doing your cooking shows. So, hopefully, in the future, there will be an island or something uh, in front of me, and it will be easier for you to see what I'm doing. Um, okay, all right, so again, it, you know, it's going to look a little bit messy, but this is essentially what you should end up with. It's a little bit messier than the other one, but that's okay. Just clean it up. All right, so we'll give our hands a quick wash. Well, hello down there. Very man hello. The Chihuahua has uh, 
gonna enter the, the kitchen to see what we're up to. Maybe seeing if there's a piece of steak that somehow fall on the floor or something like that. Okay, so we've given our hands a quick wash. Um, so we'll need another spoon. Let's have a teaspoon. Um, oh, let's flip our steak over. Coming along nicely. I'm just going to add a little bit more seasoning to the steak. Hello down there. Okay. All right. So, I am going to go in with the blue cheese dressing now or the ranch um, dressing. And again, any creamy dressing will work for this and you are definitely welcome to make your own, um, whichever you prefer. All right. You want a good helping of the blue cheese dressing, and you're just gonna drop it over top. You could give people the dressing on the side as well, um, if they, they prefer it. This Renee's is thicker, so it's a little bit hard to drizzle it. So, okay, all right, so there you go. So the next step is now uh, to wait for your steak to finish cooking, um, and then you can do the final part. So we'll be right back with the next step um, with what to do with the steak once it's cooked. Hi everybody, okay, so we're back with the, uh, the finished product. Uh, so there you go, wedge salad with steak. Um, so this is my husband's, he prefers his steak a little less done than I do. Um, but yeah, so steak, wedge of iceberg lettuce with the vegetables that we cut up and blue cheese dressing. Um, and then, kind of hard to see, but your cauliflower on the side. You can season your cauliflower however you like. Um, as I've mentioned in videos before, I don't add any extra salt or anything like that to our cooking. Um, so the steamed vegetables, you could definitely put like butter, salt, pepper, whatever you wanted on them um, as well. But yeah, so there you go. Um, give it a try, super easy. Um, <laughs> this video took uh, 18 minutes. Um, to make. Um, so with the breaks, I would say that this meal probably took like maybe 20 to 25 minutes. So super quick, super easy, delicious. Um, and this is a year round dish, right? Because you can do the steak on the barbecue and it's nice and light for summer as well. Um, so I hope you enjoy, uh, give it a whirl leave some comments and let me know how yours turned out and do let me know if you tried this dish with chicken um, or tofu um, instead of the uh, the steak all right cheers wedge salad with steak